Have you ever been in a terminal and required the use of a menu system, arrow keys up and down? Or have you ever needed search functionality? So you're typing in letters and results appear as you type in the terminal. Well, then this video is for you because today I'm gonna to give a very brief introduction to a fantastic tool called FZF, the Terminal Fuzzy Finder. Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Ben, and here we like to talk about tech, tutorials, and just twaddle. Today, as I said, we're gonna talk about FZF, the Terminal Fuzzy Finder. FZF is a command line program that you can use to fuzzy find things. Fuzzy finding is the idea that you have a search bar, you start typing things in, and as you start typing, results begin to appear depending on what you've typed. For example, if I had a list of the phonetic alphabet, so Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and I typed in the letter A, I of course, as one of my results, would get Alpha, because there is an A in Alpha. But I also get, as a result, Bravo, because there is an A in Bravo. That's the idea of a fuzzy find or a fuzzy search. In fact, it's probably more familiar to you in terms of Google searching. You know, when you start typing in words in Google, it will often try to guess or complete the things that you're trying to search for using a similar idea to Fuzzy Find. It's not exactly that. FZF lets you give it some input and it will then perform its crazy magic fuzzy finding on that list of inputs that you've given it. You can then start typing to try and narrow down the search results. And of course you can use your arrow keys to move up and down like a menu. And when you hit enter, it takes the line that you're on and prints it to standard out, which for those of you who are familiar with command line applications and terminals is fantastically powerful when it comes to piping the result of one command into another. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's just zoom me down a little bit and let's have a look at the terminal. First of all, we need to install it. This can be done very simply through your package manager. The package is called FZF. So for me, it would be brew install FZF. It might also be at get install FZF, or it could also be pacman s FZF. You get the picture. In the description down below, I'll leave a link to this GitHub page, which is the actual page of FZF. It is a open source community driven project and the GitHub for it has all the explanation that you need to install it and use it and all the documentation. And it is a fantastic page that is really well um, organized and really detailed. So I'll link to that in the description down below. Once you've installed it, let's look at a very quick demo to sort of show off immediately what FZF can do. I'm gonna echo out with the evaluation characters so that special characters like new lines are actually interpreted. One, new line, two, new line, excuse me, three. Okay, without doing anything else, if I enter that, it's going to print out one, two, three, each on their own lines. Now the real power comes when I pipe this into FZF, okay? Hit enter. Look what's happened, this is awesome. In the bottom right, on, excuse me, in the bottom left of the screen now, there is a sort of menu. I can use my arrow keys to move up and down, and the three options that are available to me are one, two, and three, the three options that I gave it in the terminal. Uh, and of course, I can use my arrow keys to move up and down, I can start typing T and see how that's narrowed. It's got rid of one because one doesn't have a T in it, but it's got two and three left for me. And then I'm gonna type uh, W and two is left. And when I've got this option that I want highlighted, you can see one of them is highlighted, I can hit enter. And all it does is obviously gives me that really nice um, user interface that lets me do the fuzzy searching and sort of menu system. But then it takes the output that I've selected and hit enter with and prints it to standard out. So you can see two was written here because I selected two. And of course, this output piped to another command is really, really useful. If you type in FZF without anything else attached or without piping anything into it, it will actually use the folder that you're in and all the files and contents within that folder as its list to fuzzy search through. So in this case, I have two files abc.txt and def.txt, and I can now select between those, A obviously, and D and arrow keys and enter, and of course, printed to standard out is the one that I selected. FZF on its own is kinda useless, but combined with other commands, it becomes super powerful. So let's look at a more advanced usage of that. 
For example, if I wanted to make an interactive git branch changer, I could use fzf for that exact purpose. I'm just going to navigate over to a folder that is a git repository on my machine. And you can see currently in my PS1, I am in the master branch. So how might I use fzf to interactively change branches? You have to build together a bunch of different commands, but we can do it all in one line. To write my long command, I'm going to use a program called fc. And you can use the mnemonic fix command. fc, when you use it, simply opens up your editor of choice and puts into it the last command that you entered so that you can fix it. And once you save it and quit, it will run that command. But I'm going to get rid of the last command that I used and use this space to write my new command. To start with, I'm going to use the command git branch, which when it's run, uh, simply prints out all the branches in my local repository. So there's a branch called master, which I'm currently in, we know because of the asterisk, and a branch named other. And I want to be able to fuzzy find between those. So let's go back to FC and build on this command. Git branch, and I'm going to pipe that through to FZF, okay? And let's just run that for now, see what happens. And you can see immediately, without much work, I've got other and master. And I can move between them, I can start typing, and I can hit enter. And of course, as I said, FZF prints your chosen item out to standard out. So other is printed in this case. All we would need to do next is git checkout and the branch that came out of fzf. Of course, there's a asterisk involved there and there's a lot of spaces and stuff. So we need to clean up the output first and we can do this really nice and simply with the sed command. So I'm gonna just do sed string replacement, any asterisks and any spaces to be replaced with nothing, okay? So let's just look at that. So other and master, I'm just gonna hit master and you can see the asterisk is gone and any spaces are gone. Of course, you can do the sed in different orders. You could do the sed before the fzf. In this case, I'm just doing it after. Finally, after the output of fzf has been cleaned up, we can now pass the result into the git checkout command to actually switch between branches. To do that, we need to use the xargs tool, which essentially takes the output of some command and uses it as input for the next command. And to do this, it's really simple. We just type xargs after the pipe. We do dash minus i, which informs xargs about our sort of um, variable replacement template that we're going to do. I'll do a video about xargs in the future. But basically, anywhere you see these curly brackets, it's going to be replaced with whatever our input is coming from previous commands. So whatever said, the final said command gives us will be templated into this next command where the curly brackets are. So xargs-i curly brackets, we're just saying we want to use curly brackets as our template. And then we do git checkout and curly brackets. So the curly braces at the end here will be replaced with whatever said gives us, which of course is the branch that we've selected from fuzzy finding. So let's run that. And you can see in the bottom left, I have the two branches again, and I can select master or other. Let's go to other. I've selected other. And it says here, switched to branch other. And you can see in my PS1, the branch is now other. Let's just up and use that command again. And now instead, let's use master. And you can see, switch branch to master. And in my PS1, it says the master branch. Of course, you would then take this uh, long command that you've written and turn it into a script that you could use again in the future. And it's a really nice quick way of switching uh, Git branches. But of course, that just highlights the power that fzf has and hopefully now, seeing that, you're thinking of many, many different things that you can actually do with it. Over on the GitHub page, of course, there is loads more information about the plethora of things that you can do with FZF. And of course, um, just a note, it is incredibly customizable. You can change the complete appearance of it. You can do different things with it. You can even install um, FZF into Vim, which I do have as well. And I'll show you in another video to make Vim even more powerful using the power of FZF. I hope this video has been useful and at least has been a way to highlight FZF, the incredibly powerful program. And as I said, I've barely even scraped the surface of it. I've just shown you the basic functionality to it. There is so much more that FZF can do, but I'll leave that for you to find out on your own. Please let me know in the comments down below if you already use FZF and how you use it. I'd be really interested to find out other fantastic scripts that, that use FZF. As per usual, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me. 
please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to, and share this video around with whoever you think would be interested. Please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Ben underscore Cadell, or leave a comment down below and let me know what sort of videos you want to see in the future, what topics or tech themes I should cover. Thanks for watching, see you next time.